This is Halim Urban from Village Food Tours. In this video, we're hitting up Tapas and Tacos and Kreiderman's Barbecue. All right, guys, so we don't have charbroil oysters, but we have the next best thing, which is octopus tacos. So this is like a tapas uh, restaurant, right? Yeah. Spanish style, but it's Mexican. Mexican as well, Mexican too. influenced, yep. right? So we got tacos, we have the elote, an incredible corn on the cob. I love it with cheese and some sauce. It just looks so good. Let's do this one first, right? Yeah. Dig in. Oh man, look at this bad boy. I love it. Huge. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh wow, one huge cynical. Mm. I love octopus like this. Mm -hmm. On the grill, la plancha. Mm. Mm. Got so much flavor, and then you taste the char. I mm -hmm. love the char on it. I love it. the char. A little crispy and burnt, right? Mm hmm. Mm. They have uh, some alioli in here, I think. Uh, it's got some tomatoes, some, what is it, cabbage? Yeah, it looks like a, I think there's a jalapeno in there. Uh, I want jalapeno. <laughs> it has spice, I'll put a lot of spice. Mm. Mm. Mexican food for me. Oh. Tacos are like a comfort food. For yeah, me. yeah, all yeah. day. Yeah, my wife and I are like in love with Mexican food. Mm -hmm. When I went to Mexico City for the first time, right, street food all day long. People had people like were like, David, how is that possible? I'm like, dude, Mexico City the street food is incredible. Oh, whoa, what's happening here? Wow, orange have this is margarita. Okay, a margarita. Okay, <laughs> nice. Hope it's not spiked too much. Nah, 1906. This is Spanish beer. Thank you so much. Dude. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Awesome, okay, my friend. Cheers. TNT. TNT, do it. Do it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Not a kick? Mm. Super spicy. Mm. <laughs> Definitely tickle me. I'm gonna get the red one. Calm it down. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Nice. So tasty, creamy, right? And here, the best thing to do with the elote, I mean, unless you're gonna eat it yourself, cut it up, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually love doing this at home. I cut. So I love doing this, right? I cut right here, just like that. You get all that incredible corn right there. Oh, it's a nice clean piece. Oh man, I've been doing this my whole life, man. I love it. And then this, you just mix it in with all that sauce, right? Mm -hmm. and it's easier to eat this way. I've actually been teaching my kids to do it this way. Instead you of get just less eating. stuck in your teeth. <laughs> you get nothing stuck in your teeth. You don't even have to get your hands dirty if you don't want to, you know? Yeah. I mean, obviously the other way is the more traditional way, but this is cool too. So that's it. And then, the best thing to do is... Bro, here you go. All right, let's street do this. Corn. Yeah, man, street corn. This is the street food. Ooh! <laughs> it's so, it's this, shot at me. This is the street food that you can eat basically in all Latin America. The best I've ever had it was actually in Ecuador. Oh wow. Yeah man, Ecuador. Oh, they do some amazing ceviche and also a lotus. Oh, ceviche is one of my favorite. Cheers. The best, bro. Mm -hmm. Again, charred. Mm. Love it. So much flavor. I love the taste of the flames. The flames. Hitting. Also, all the cheese they put on top, they put a creamy salsa as well. And here you get like basically like, like almost like fillet of corn. The way they yeah. cut, I cut it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, what about Monster, here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was a big bite. You want to get a little wild? Should we put some salsa on top? You want yeah. anything? Um, what do you want? Do the hot. The hot? Go for it. Yeah. Straight heat? I'll regret it. But... You regret it? Nah, man. Yeah. This is not like the Indian spice, you know? This is okay. This is this is more of a quick tingle for me. Indian spice lingers longer. Gotcha. Oh, man. Big butt. All right. All right. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. So wild, it's like charred, creamy, and then the heat. Mm -hmm. mm. So you got the like cotilla cheese. Cotilla, is that how it's said? Cotilla. Cotilla? Yeah. yeah. Is it like cotilla? Oh. I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. 
It was good food though. I was about to say that wasn't hot, man. It just caught up on me. Yeah, yeah. It sneaks up on you. That's the thing with the, the Mexican like chilies. Usually they come later. You know? Hey, they hear you, but they keep going. It's crazy, like I worked around Thai food for a long time. Mm -hmm. And anytime I'd go to like a Mexican restaurant, I'd be like, oh, I can handle the spice, but because it's a different spice, it hits different. It hits you'd different. be like, oh, it's, it's, I guess it burns the different taste buds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for me, my favorite spice, to be mm -hmm. honest, is the Thai, the, the fish oil with chilies. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yes. And you could just use the oil. Oh, just God. a little bit of the yeah, oil. That, you don't even like, need to throw the chilies on there. too much. Yeah. By the way, I love this. Awesome. Love this spot. Awesome. You know, an old bang. Don't go upstairs. There's a bad ghost story at the top. <laughs> don't want to rethink it. <laughs> I'm going to be alone tonight. <laughs> but yeah, great drinks. Delicious food. Man, good spot. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Sorry we didn't have the oysters, man. No, yeah. was, but I think the octopus. The octopus was spot on. Awesome yeah. spot on and the elote, man. Can't go yeah. wrong with it. Mm. Perfect. And then one time a butcher paper. You okay? Yeah, absolutely. All right. I guess I don't have to get that three times. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you can feel the heat here, dude. Oh, yeah. Great. Spider-Man's, spider right? Yep. And you guys just got the building next door, too, right? Yeah, we yeah. just actually bought that. We just got this paper right behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we uh, started the remodel. Started the remodel. Yeah. 1,000 gallons from over here. Spider-Man's barbecue, the best brisket in Central Florida. Look at that bad boy. Mm. So good. <laughs> Ready. So their thing is to keep everything preserved so that no matter where they take it, if they cater or anything, you're getting getting the same quality across the board. Uh, they do it like they vacuum seal it, so you could buy a brisket, whatever for um, whatever you want to buy it for. And yeah. Okay. Do uh, redneck Sue did it. <laughs> Drop it in. <laughs> so you're wrapping the brisket there, and yep. then you put it in here and you let it cook for how long? Uh, so they'll go for like 12 hours unwraps, and then two hours wraps. So here's a thousand gallon, right? Thousand gallon smoker. A thousand gallon smoker. So you have wrapped and unwrapped. And then how long does the unwrap go for? Uh, unwraps, you're gonna have them uh, on the smoker unwrap for about 10 to 12 hours, and then two hours in the wrapping. In the wrapping. So, so then as you finish it off with the wrapping. Yep. Perfect. Man, the heat there. Woo! <laughs> it is hot. I can't wait to try this brisket. Yeah. Dude, I need it. Look at that thing. <laughs> that Incredible. Is. Oh my. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, pretty. Oh, look. Yeah, dude, you mind doing a little more on that? Smoke me every day. Sorry, is this a pound? This, this whole thing? After some octo tacos that and some elote no, at Tapas and yeah, Tacos, right we right right headed here. up the street okay. to Craterman's Barbecue and, and got some around. awesome uh, content right here. Right. We ordered just a small go. amount of brisket for me and David from David's Been Here to Share. And um, it was very good and enjoyable, and we got the video coming up with our review right now. I love this place. This is like a real barbecue joint. Outside, open air terrace, feels like a barn style, right? Yep. Huge tables, all made from wood. Over there we have the map of Texas, obviously Texas style barbecue. Over here, Florida. No shirts, no shoes, no service, and bring your mask. Okay. All reclaimed wood too from locally from hurricane stuff. They oh yeah. Hand built it. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and so we have the brisket and we have the sides. Potato salad. Which she said we have to try, right? Yeah. Let's just get something here. <laughs> oh man, it got some herbs in there too. I love it. It looks uh very creamy. Got some mayo, right? Yep. And red skin potatoes. Oh nice. Oh yeah. Oh man. So good. I love the herbs. Mm. What else is in here? Dill. Dill? There's some fresh dill is what it seems like. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that pairs perfectly with this, right? Yeah. 
So yeah. let's cut this. <laughs> yeah, do that. Right. Rock and roll. Oh, look at that. Oh, you like, don't even need a cut. You don't even like, need to yeah. use the knife. This is great. So I'm gonna shot myself. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Was I lying? Mm. <laughs> oh my god, the tenderness, man. It literally falls apart. Like, mmm. I used to so, pick it up and just. Yeah, it's like so juicy. Look at this. Mm. Oh! This is the best. Yes. This is the ultimate. You know, for me, the best thing in Texas is brisket. Is brisket. Mm -hmm. And barbecue. Barbecue brisket. Mmm. Mm. I love it because here all you have is salt, pepper, mm -hmm. almost no sauce. You know, sometimes they overdo with sauce, which sometimes they have sauces, but you just add if you need it. And this is perfect without it. I love it. This, yeah. You know, easy, clean. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's too good. <laughs> so this is the best brisket in Central Florida. Dude, I agree. Even though I haven't been to that many spots. Arguably, since. arguably, arguably. Arguably. But at what I've tasted, I believe it. Mm. Mix it with the taters there. Taters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice mix. Love the fat too. Nice layer of fat. Then you have all the meat. Mm -hmm. Mix mm. some of the pickles. By the way, guys, we got the smaller portion. Usually you get the one pound, right? Instead of two. Right, right. Half a pound per person. Per person. And we got the half pound for two. For two. Amazing, thank you so much. The only thing we're missing is a beer. No, but I'm driving, I'm good, I'm good. No. <laughs> As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you could watch more awesome content like this.